Hi everyone, how are you doing? Happy Friday. I hope that you're all doing well. Um, I'm going to try to make a video for you. It's been a little bit windy up here. Uh, I'm overlooking Thunder Mountain in Sedona, so I hope that you enjoy this beautiful view. Um, and let's just pull some cards, so see what the energies are for the weekend. Yesterday we had uh, the new moon and solar eclipse. And today is the midway point uh, of Mercury retrograde, and that's actually a special energy. Uh, the midway point of Mercury retrograde can actually bring a big epiphany and like a sudden revelation and clarity, sort of in the midst of the fog. Or, um, you know, if you've been really like uh, thinking a lot and analyzing a lot and feeling into the energies or just about reevaluating your life. Um, and the first card out is the Ten of Cups. So I love that for your energy for the weekend. So this is being content and being at peace. Really and truly, this is the energy. For me, it's not just like a happily ever after because we're always evolving, you know, and always growing, but it is where you do feel fulfilled and uh, at peace with something. So at peace with the decision that you've made or going to make, it's where, you know, you feel content about it. So Ten of Cups coming out, it's a completion of something. It's where like you sort of made a decision about something. It, it, for me, in this energy of this now moment. Uh, so Ten of Cups coming out, and for some of you, this is about love and relationship, family, partnerships. So let's get some more messages and see what else wants to come out. That's like the overall energy uh, for this weekend. So exciting, exciting Ten of Cups. Can't beat that, right? Let's see what else we have. That one. Yes, Three of Wands coming out. So that's why I was saying it's... Um, sort of this moment of clarity inside of this mercury retrograde where you're deciding to like uh, go forward with a plan okay and this is where you can kind of like really be evaluating where you're taking it how you're going to do it uh, each step and it's also where the things that you have already worked on like they are uh, almost coming to fruition it's connected into the empress so a lot of growth and expansion and this is a card of success as well so a really beautiful fire energy coming in and I'm sort of like putting each of these cards back down in the box with a rock over it so that the wind doesn't come and take them away and yes we have the Emperor coming out so beautiful energy you guys this is where um, perhaps like over the last month you haven't fully felt like you were in your power uh, or you that's what you've really been working towards so beautiful energy of the Emperor this is the king of all kings it's about being in a place of your own personal authority your personal truth your personal power it's Aries energy so it's really initiating and take charge and take the lead uh, this is the guy who you know he can run a kingdom them. he can run a country um, so really feeling on top of your game here with that ten cups and the three of wands and now the Emperor uh, about your foundations and the plans that you have around building wealth building your business um, even inside of a relationship that you're really taking the lead really feeling strong so and you may not have been there you know a few days ago or a week ago or uh, you know, last year. So it's a really nice energy. And let's see what else we have for everybody. Uh, okay. And yes, you guys, strength. So this has not been easy. You see that lion there? Beautiful, beautiful Leo energy. We've got a lot of fire. You know, we see Aries, now we see Leo. Um, so again, this, it has not been easy. Uh, this is where you've really had to uh, tap into all of your inner strength. You're seeing how strong you are. Strength comes when we need it the most. That's when it comes out. So you've been doing a lot of inner work here is what I'm seeing. Um, you know, really looking at your own fears, really facing them head on. Uh, and perhaps some of you are in a space of like, you've sort of um, had to surrender something or retreat um, and just tap into a, a sort of softness within yourself that there's, um, there's a lot of strength in your vulnerability and knowing when it's time to soften and knowing when it's time to roar, <laughs> okay? So uh, you can see that amazing lion there, uh, you know, and so if, if you've been in a place where um, maybe this is, an energy that you're just starting to feel brewing for you, 
uh, after you've put in a lot of work on something, uh, then congratulations, because it's what's coming. You know, the Ten Cups, uh, the Emperor Energy, Strength, and Three of Wands. So uh, it's I'm feeling uh, carefully laid plans. This is something you've really been working towards. So let's get one more. Thank you uh, to the Spirit of Sedona for being here with us. And it is a little bit windy up here. I feel like, nice, nice. Uh, so we get... Um, Nice, you guys. Yes, it, there is a lot of inner work that's been happening. Whether or not you realize it, uh, there has been a sort of um, blending of your elements. We get temperance with the Queen of Cups. So some of you could be dealing with uh, a Cancer. This is Cancer energy. And we do have Venus that's moving through the sign of Cancer. So really lovely energy. This is about coming home to your heart. This is where uh, with temperance and then we saw the emperor where you've really learned uh, how to sort of blend the two elements within you, your light and your shadow, your masculine, your feminine, your yin, your yang. You're just coming out very balanced here. So congratulations. Um, sorry, I thought I heard something. Okay, um, you're coming out very balanced here. Uh, this is where there's an angel with you as well, the angel of temperance. So there has been a transformation and you're coming uh, into a time where, you know, you may have to be patient um, and practice moderation uh, and come home to your heart. So you're busy driving something forward, moving something forward. You're busy uh, taking action. And then it's also time to nurture yourself and just be in a space of receiving and allowing, okay? And listening to your intuition like the Queen of Cups does. Tapping into your heart space, your inner knowing, your intuition. So it's that yin energy of receiving and allowing. Allow yourself to, you know, receive nurture. Uh, nurturing and care from others around you. If you've been sort of like in the emperor energy of feeling like you have to take care of everything, uh, and it could be a nod to a beautiful relationship that you're in as well with someone else, that there's 10 cups there and there's a beautiful divine feminine and a beautiful divine masculine. Uh, and also it is about, temperance is about like that middle path, the middle way. So not going too far into an extreme one way or the other, just coming back to center. Uh, and really allowing yourself to um, just to relax is what I'm hearing. Uh, some kind of like uh, balance of relaxing and doing, of taking charge and just leaning back into the energies and allowing yourself some grace. And then at the bottom of the deck was the Four of Cups. So this could be where, you know, um, I don't know, and you really wondered for a long time if life had kind of like passed you by, missed opportunities, kind of feeling a little bit depressed about things, apathetic even, um, but it's definitely, uh, this is an energy that you have moved through because then we see the magician there. So it really is about like turning it all around. And I feel like that's what you guys have done. Really, really turned it all around with that magician at the bottom of the deck underneath the four of cups. I wanted to um, get a special, special message from the spirit of Sedona. Uh, since I am in Sedona, that's where I live. And, um, I'm up here perched on this mountain, or this little rock here today overlooking Thunder Mountain. So I've got these, uh, this is the Sedona Oracle deck. So uh, I think that's what it's called. The Sedona deck and Oracle cards. It's by Kathleen Gabriel, if anyone's interested in this. It's very simple. It's, you know, not too many bells and whistles with this deck. So let's get an energy from Sedona. Highest and best message for the collective. And I'm sort of shuffling very carefully here. <laughs> Um, ooh, I, I don't know where Red Canyon is, but, um, it's definitely a nod to, um, uh, to the ruins so it says ancient and future energies so really nice um i think that's like mercury retrograde okay excuse me i have to go pick up my card i will be right back you guys don't go anywhere i was afraid that this would happen oh god
<laughs> All right, you guys. Well, um, I think that was Sedona giving us a message. So uh, what flew away, <laughs> um, and we're just going to put that other deck back, uh, was the sun <laughs> with the Ten of Wands. So um, yes, you guys, if you've been feeling really stressed out or overburdened, uh, like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders, you don't know how you're going to do it. Um, it is about surrendering and laying some of that burden down um, and knowing that you're in the home stretch. The sun is the biggest blessing. Um, in the deck, in the whole tarot deck, the sun is the biggest blessing. And that's what you saw those cards, like they went flying. So um, the sun and the 10 of wands, like uh, you can definitely lay some of your burden down, you guys. Uh, there are blessings on the way and um, there's a breakthrough that's gonna be happening. So no matter where you're at in your life, just know, first of all, that in order to accumulate all 10 wands, you have to be someone uh, who has high aspirations is the way that I see it. You know, you're someone who takes on a lot. You're someone who's very passionate. You're someone who has a real uh, love and longing for life and it's coming to you. So whether it's thinking outside the box and seeing what you can drop, what you can leave, what you can ask for help with, or like just surrendering, or like for those of you who are like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna persevere through this, then do that because the sun has come out and uh, we're moving into just some really bright, beautiful energy. Things are changing. There's a lot happening behind the scenes. Um, and this is also the energy of the solar eclipse that happened yesterday. So uh, there are blessings on the way, okay? And you may be feeling the shift in energy already. Um, you know, you really may be feeling the shift in energy already. Okay, so I'm going to take a new card from this deck. And I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to pick one. So I did see that ancient and future energies card. So it really is speaking to, I feel like come into this now moment, let the past be in the past, let the future happen when it happens, come into the present moment. Um, yes, you guys, we get the road runner. He's one of my favorites. Um, I just love road runners, even quail, you know, they're so funny. They're so cute. They're just amazing. And they can outrun the slyest of coyotes. So think back to Looney Tunes. You know, that coyote could never catch the roadrunner, right? They're very family oriented. Um, you know, they're just beautiful and they're swift and they have great instinct. So trust and knowledge. So trusting in your own knowledge, there's that number three. So we get 33, the energy of three is of manifesting, of expansion and growth, past, present, future. Um, you know, all of the, the three is the holy trinity. Um, you know, body, mind, and soul, um, and manifesting and growth and expansion. So, um, yeah, trust and knowledge roadrunner energy is with you guys. So it's also about your strength and your perseverance. Like you can do this, you know, if there's trickster energy around you, or you feel like there may be uh, with that coyote energy, you know, is someone trying to track you down and take you down and, um, you know, uh, it's could be your internal battle. Um, just know that you can outrun it. You know, you've got great strength and swiftness and instinct, okay? And they're little creatures, but they're mighty. So um, let's end with a crystal card. I've got like a minute and 20 seconds left here. I'm trying to keep these to 15 minutes so that I can get them on Instagram as well as YouTube. So thank you, Sedona. Thank you so much. Thank you to uh, uh, Papa Thunder Mountain such an amazing vortex right here. I'm so blessed and thankful. So, uh, and also that I can share this with you guys. So one card, one closing message for the weekend. That one, this is one of my favorites. I might have to write a book about this one. So yes, you guys, Chiastolite, uh, the energy of this beautiful grounding stone that uh, helps you bring everything into the present moment, the web, all of your experiences of your entire life that play an important part in where you are right now. This is about coming into the present moment, the convergence of everything that you've been through, everything in your life leading up to this very moment. And we see the energy of the cross there. So do with that what you will. You are the weaver of your destiny and you're working with some really beautiful energies. I love you so much. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you all soon. Okay. Namaste.